And now from Color 10, breaking news. We're following breaking news in West Springfield this afternoon. An hours long standoff between police and a man who led officers on a chase has just ended with police getting him out of his vehicle, which had been surrounded. Police tell us the incident began from a well being check at Kensington Park Apartments off Kansas Expressway, and the situation escalated from there. Colorton Cindy Moran has been at the scene this afternoon. She's live now sharing what we've learned from police. Well, Bailey and Steve, actually a tow truck just got here to pick up that man's car. Police did say he left his car peacefully, but during those several hours, investigators were talking to him through the phone. Now, this all started just after 1 p.m. today, like you guys said, at Kensington Park Apartments. And when police got there, they heard about a potential argument. Police say the man involved looked to be impaired. And after making threatening comments to police, the man ended up taking off and hitting a patrol car. No officers were hurt. Police chased after the man and rolled out spikes near West Chestnut Expressway and West Bypass. The spikes worked and officers tried to get the man out of the car then, but he drove off again. And officers were eventually able to surround his car near the intersection of Junction and Orchard Crest. Uh, regarding the incident uh, on Orchard Crest, the uh, suspect was taken into custody uh, without incident. Uh, no force was used. Uh, suspect uh, surrendered after uh, successful negotiations through a crisis negotiation team. Now, the Greene County Sheriff's Office also responded to this incident with SPD. SPD is still investigating whether or not the suspect did have a weapon, but they say he did not show any weapon and he did not come out of the car with a weapon. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.